Section 20 on page 189. The Senate Public Safety Committee, a milestone of sorts, the first time senators have ever taken testimony on legalizing marijuana. Those bills couldn't get a hearing until Democrats regained control of the Senate. We also have provisions in this bill to do education, particularly to young people. Senator Lindsey Port's bill would set up a legal, regulated cannabis market in this state and expunge or erase criminal records of those convicted of low-level marijuana crimes in the past. It's just so important that the benefits of legalizing cannabis are going towards those who were harmed most by cannabis prohibition. The law enforcement community is solidly against making it easier for people to consume the drug due to traffic safety concerns. When other states legalize marijuana, the number of traffic fatalities have increased where one or more drivers was marijuana impaired. Minnesota's trucking industry also opposed, saying it will make it harder to find drivers who can pass drug tests. Fail the test, they cannot become a truck driver. We have 8,000 truck driver shortage today. And as you all know, trucking is the lifeblood of the Minnesota's economy. Supporters argue Minnesotans are already using marijuana widely, but are forced to rely on a black market that brings with it many other safety risks. People have to go to the black market to criminals by definition to obtain cannabis. And we've succeeded perhaps in terrorizing or intimidating citizens, in canceling civil liberties, in blighting both urban and rural communities. Now this committee did not give it a thumbs up or thumbs down today. They voted to send it next to the Commerce Committee without recommendation. That means they expect the bill to come back to the Public Safety Committee before it has a chance to move on to the process and eventually, uh, if the sponsors get their way, to the floor of the Senate for a vote. Back to you. All right, John, thank you. In meantime, St. Paul